Hey, Sarah Morrison here, and I'm very excited that you were checking this out, and I wanted to um, talk a little bit more about something I see happen a lot as a coach for the past seven years and, you know, working in the health and fitness industry with people at a health club as well, that a lot of times what stops people are some common fears. So let's just talk about it. Let's just get it out of the open. And if there's something that you're having, hopefully hearing what I have to say will help you move past it so you can actually take some action and make some great things happen in your life. So just know that this group is a virtual powerhouse, meaning wherever you go, it goes with you. Okay, wherever you go, the support goes with you. Wherever you go, the accountability goes with you. Wherever you go, the commitment goes with you. You don't have to be at a certain place at a certain time, um, you know, in the same zip code, anything like that. You're going to have a ton of support virtually. I love this because I love to be on the go and I love to be able to travel, but I still have this group that I want to connect with and are helping me make better choices wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. Because let's face it, life is busy. Okay, there's never going to be the perfect time where you have these three weeks with no distractions to get something done. So don't even let that stop you. You can do this anytime, anywhere, if it's any schedule. All right, let me talk about some common fears that people have. And really, like the biggest one, I think one of the biggest ones comes down to mindset and really just being scared of failing. It is scary to put yourself out there. It is scary to go out of your comfort zone and do something that makes you not sure if you're going to pull it off, if you're going to get the results you want. And especially with this group, um, it's really targeted to help you keep the weight off for good and not go through the cycle where you lose it, you get it back, you lose it, you get it back. And so if you've been on that kind of cycle, you might be thinking, well, why is this time going to be any different? You're not the only one who thinks that, okay? But if you ever want it to be different, you have to start believing that one of these times is going to be different. And I promise you that this group is going to be different than anything you have probably ever done. I'm guessing like 99% of the situations out there, yes, it's going to be different than anything you've ever done because we're going to talk more about environmental factors, your self-awareness, what kind of tweaks can you make that you'll actually stick with, okay? There's not this one size fits all coming at you in this group. So if you have this fear of failure, I want you to give yourself a break. And if you want something to change, you got to start by just accepting that this could be that chance to change. Okay, so don't think of the bad in the past. Think of what could possibly happen for you and trust that you're going to have great support and that you can make changes. This is not about being perfect. This is about giving it a go and deciding to try and believe in yourself. Another common fear is time. I hear all the time that people don't have the time to work out. People don't have the time to take care of themselves. People don't have the time to prep food and all this stuff. I get it. We are all busy. The new thing that people say anymore is, you know, someone says, how are you? And they say, I'm great, just really busy. You know, it's like the new, fine, thank you. <laughs> it's just great, but busy. We're all busy. Time is very subjective. Time is, um, you always have the time for whatever is important to you. And so it comes back to shifting to making your health a priority. One of my challengers has been with me now for a couple months is a mom of four and she works part-time as a nurse as well. And she got lost in never making time for herself and ended up at a place where she didn't like the weight she was at. She didn't like how she felt. She didn't like her energy. So we talked about, you've got to carve out some time for you in the day. She gets up a little bit earlier each morning. I just talked to her on the phone this week and she is like, my life is so different just because I get up in the morning and I have time for me. She made herself a priority. Okay, we can all choose to make ourselves a priority and all of a sudden you're going to have the time and it's going to be worth it. Side note, when you start making time for yourself, you've got more energy. Things don't feel as exhausting. You just feel better. You feel like you have more time because you are more productive. Another side note, keep in mind that I'm not prescribing you a 45-minute workout that you have to get done every day. If you only feel like you have 25 minutes, there are 22-minute workouts that will make you sweat, will make you work. You'll be so glad you did it. It will start to change your life. It's doing it consistently. It doesn't have to be some 60-minute workout every day. You just have to start making time for you every day, whether that's 20 minutes or 60 minutes. Know that we have so much variety in what your fitness can be, and you're going to have an amazing tool 
that will allow you to pick and choose what you need based on the day, based on where you're at. So just don't even let that be an excuse. Because if you're letting that be an excuse, you need to back it up and think, I'm not making the time that I deserve. Do I think I'm worth the time? Yes, you are. Another fear that people have is money. You gotta invest money in yourself. That can be scary. In this group, what I'm gonna suggest to the majority of people who join is to get what is called the All Access Challenge Pack because these are gonna be two tools that you are gonna use that's gonna make your life easier. The first one is called Beachbody On Demand. Think of it as like Netflix for fitness. You have hundreds of workouts at your fingertips that you can pick and choose from. You can have variety. You could follow an entire program if you want. You could be like, I'm gonna do the 21 day fix for three weeks. Oh, now let me dabble in some of these fun Shanti T25 workouts. Oh, there's a 22 minute um, hardcore workout with Tony Horton. This is amazing. And I can give you guidance on what it is to pick. You're gonna get that for an entire year. Okay, so an entire year. And I'll talk more about this in the next video as well. But that's a whole year of fitness right there at your fingertips. And also continuing to be in groups like this. And I hope you do because this isn't just a quick fix. This is about being a lifetime and surrounding yourself with positive support. The other part of that challenge pack is a month supply of Shakeology. This is going to be so, it's crucial in every one of my groups, but one of the environmental factors you're going to hear about in this group is micronutrient deficiency. For me, this has been the key to curing micronutrient deficiency. Micronutrient deficiency is vitamins, minerals, things that your body needs, your cells need to function correctly. So you've got your macronutrients, maybe you've heard that term, that's carbs, proteins, and fats. And with micronutrients, it's a lot of the other stuff that you hear about, vitamin B and calcium and all these other things that your body needs to function. So Shakeology is gonna help you with that. It's an easy way to have a healthy meal without having to prep some more healthy food. It's gonna make life easier. And you're gonna get a month's supply of it. So that ends up being 30 meals. It breaks down to around $4 a day when you look at it. And when we really think about it, like I get that $160 up front seems like a big chunk of change, but you gotta look at what you're getting. You're getting a month worth of meals, around $4. Do you go buy breakfast right now? Do you go to the cafeteria and get food? It's really easy to spend over $4 quickly, but you're doing it in small daily increments so you don't think about it. This is going to be fast. It's going to save you time. It tastes good, which is great. It's going to help your body hugely by upping your micronutrients. And we'll talk about all the benefits that come with that. And that's one of the factors that can help you keep the weight off for good is by fixing that deficiency. And it's very cost effective when you look at it for the month. So you get both of that, both of those things, a complete year of the best fitness you can get. They're constantly adding new workouts to it. It is fun. It's like hopping on Netflix to find a movie, but you're hopping on Netflix to find something that's going to fire up your day and make you feel good and a month's supply of Shakeology. Plus, on top of that, you are getting coaching. There's no other investment. What I just told you your investment is, is in two tools that you're going to use during this. There's no other cost for the group or all this effort that I'm going to be putting into sharing what I'm so excited to share from this book that really changed the way that I look at coming at weight loss, different from restricting calories and trying to just move more, a different approach than you might have done in your life that could really move you forward. So if you want to make changes, an investment has to be there with your belief in yourself, with your time, and with money. And it's going to be worth it. I promise you. It's worth it to invest in your health because think about what that could save you later. So I hope that helps with some of the fears that you might be having because we can't, fear is always there. You know what I've really learned? I've learned that fear never goes away. There's no one in this life that's truly fearless. If they are, they probably like, <laughs> they probably have something else going on that is a cognitive disability. Like most humans that are functioning correctly have fear. We all do. You have to learn to live with it and not let it drive your car all over. You have to let it be in the back seat. Don't let it be taking the wheel of your life. It's always going to be there, but decide that your belief is stronger, that your desire to make changes, your desire to feel better, your desire to do something and make it stick, your desire to get out of where you are right now and move to a better spot is greater 
than fear. So, all right, watch the next video and can't wait for you to be in this group.